Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to another reading with Ms. Welsh. Today, we're going to be reading the book, Duck at the Door by Jackie Urbanovic. The story takes place on a snowy night when Max the duck knocks on Irene's door. Why do you think Max was outside in the cold snow? Maybe lonely Max will make new friends. Let's read the story and find out what happens. It was a quiet night until tunk, creak, and knock, knock, knock. Someone is out there, but who? Let's go ask Irene. She always knows what to do. Irene, cried Brody, help, someone is knocking on our door. It's the middle of the night, said Irene. Who could be knocking on our door? It's a duck. Irene brought the duck inside. My name is Max, he began. I was born in the spring and I loved it. I stayed behind when my flock flew south because I thought I'd love winter too. But it turned out to be too cold and very lonely. Winter isn't so bad when you have a warm home, Irene said. At first, Max had a lot to learn. In January, he learned to use the remote control. He enjoyed Wild Kingdom and worldwide wrestling. In February, he discovered he had a flair for cooking. By March, it made himself right at home. But by April, it was clear that Max had learned too much. There goes another Saturday night. Another rerun, gimme, gimme. Rerun, I've got it memorized. Ugh. Dakota, Coco, and Jessie Bear got tired of Max's new recipes. Max's tofu surprise, shish kebab a la Max, Max's seaweed chowder, ugh. And Brody, he was just tired. Someone had to talk to Max, but who? Just then, Max burst into the room yelling, listen, listen to the quacking. My flock has returned. I can't wait to see them. Irene, please keep my chef's hat. And Brody, you can have my rubber duckies. I will miss you all so much. After many hugs, Max laughed. With Max on, life was ordinary again. You go first, no you. The cats went back to eating plain cat food. No one played keep away with the remote control. What else can we do for fun? And Brody didn't have to share his bed. Life was so quiet that by October, everyone was happy to hear the sound of quacking. When there was a knock at the door, everyone was hoping the same thing. Max, 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 they shouted with joy. Are you staying with us all winter? They asked. Yes, Max. Yes, me and my flock. Everyone looked at Irene, hoping she would say something. All she could say was, welcome home. What did you think about the story? 
Even though Max was a bit difficult, his family missed him when he was gone. They were so happy when he returned for the winter. What do you think will happen now that he's back with his flock? Well, join me next time for another fun reading. Bye-bye.